For my third cultural interaction, I interviewed the same student I have been with the past two times, Eric from Beijing, China. For my first question in the interview, I asked what is motivating for him to learn new things in and out of school. His reply to this that his parents were extremely motivating people. They were able to motivate him learning new things in school and outside of school. He also explained that he is own self-motivated and he wants to become an engineer just like his father. The next question I asked was how intelligence was defined in his culture. And at this point he explained to me how intelligence is a part of education. Education is one of the most important things in his culture and if not the most important thing growing up and intelligence went hand in hand with education so he put intelligence as one of the more important things in their culture. The next question I asked had to do with the differences between culture here in education and the culture there. First I explained a little bit about our culture in education here. I explained that we had a teacher that stood up and taught and then we had time to go over the homework in class and she would answer any questions we had. We would also have group discussions and group projects to work on throughout grade school and even in high school here. And he explained that after that I had it a little bit different than him. He, His teachers would stand up in the front of class and they would wait until the teacher was done talking and then they would leave class and go home for a few hours and work on all their homework which I thought was a little different because if they had questions I they didn't know how to ask so I asked him about that and he said that they would have tutors come to their house and answer questions for them which was a little different because we usually have just our teacher do that. Another difference was that he explained that they choose what they want to be early on in life whether it being grade school or early stages of high school and they took classes to prepare themselves for that education and career that they want to be after high school and after college. So he choose, chose to be an engineer and he's been taking engineering classes since he chose which was early on in grade school and this has helped prepare him for his career after high school. Another difference was that the culture importance of education and, and I asked him about his culture importance of education and it is one of the most important things if not the most important thing for them growing up. Here we balance that out with sports and clubs and different activities hanging out with our friends and there they do hang out with other friends but after they have all their homework and after they spend hours a day doing their homework. Next thing I asked was about the culture expectancy of taking on college after high school, after schooling was done being mandatory. And he said in his culture it's becoming more and more expected to go to college, that he wanted to come over here to get an American education, American college education, and then head back for being an engineer in China along with his family. And he said that after I asked him that if this was the culture norm, if that this was most of his friends doing the same thing, and he replied yes, that it is the culture norm to come over, go to college, both of his parents went to college, and then head back to China to finish their career and become an engineer the rest of their life there. I thought this was extremely cool. This was my favorite interaction yet. I learned a lot from it. I learned about their education mostly and I learned the importance of it. I learned that they choose what they want to be in grade school while we choose either in high school or sometimes even in college. I just thought it was really fascinating the differences between the importance of education in both cultures and I don't believe that theirs is better or ours is better. I just thought it was really cool to see the differences between the importance of education and how I was able to interact with Eric on a whole new level, asking him questions and him opening up and being able to talk to me. So I hope this continues and I hope I can continue to learn about their culture and education.